Next I'll be making the bud. So I'm going to use that other piece of 26 gauge wire covered with floral tape and hooked for my bud. And I'm going to use light gum paste that sits about two-thirds of the way on top of the second smallest hole of the pedal pad. So there's the second smallest hole of the pedal pad. This needs to sit about two-thirds of the way up. Just a little bit more. This is just a little size guide. There we go. Massage it. Maybe a little vegetable shortening. Roll it into a ball. And rock it one side of the ball back and forth on my hand, and you can also do this on the board to make a cone shape. I'll take my prepared stem with a little gum glue on it and insert that into the wide end of the cone. Pinching at the base. best to let this dry overnight so it's nice and firm. If you don't have the luxury of time, just proceed with caution. So we will proceed with caution, of course. So as I did for the regular narcissus, I'm going to roll out the paste as I would for the flower. So the second smallest hole here, form into a cone shape, press in, getting as much paste in there as I can, rolling it thinly, and then pulling it out. There's my knob, and I'm going to thin it out some more. And I like to use the smaller pencil tool for rolling, this smaller tool for rolling out more because then I can get right up next to this little knobby guy. Okay. Making sure that it moves loosely on the board, I'm going to cut out the freesia shape after I center the knob in the center of the cutter. Get it loose there. Poke it out. I'm going to widen the petals just a little bit at the widest expanse back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Right. Now at this stage we veined it on the hibiscus veiner and we're going to do that again. However, we're going to do it on the opposite side. So before, uh, for the flower, we veined it with the cone side up. But this time, we're going to vein it with the cone side down. So you cone side down, veining on the small hibiscus veiner. All three petals. We'll take this over to the soft side. And now the veining is up here, so we want to be rather gentle with that. So I'm going to take this into the knob there, into the, sorry, into the second smallest hole, like that. And I'll use my small ball tool to vein, to soften. So this is on the unveined side. This is unveined. And I'll take it over to my cosmetic sponge, and this is the unveined side again, which is up, using my blunt toothpick with the narrower part towards the center. I'll press gently in the center to indent. So the bumpy, the, the bumpy part of the indentation is always on the veined side, you'll see. That. Good. 
Now, I don't need to pinch and point on these. That's not necessary because this is an opening up flower. So this, I can just leave off to the side and the second water just hold to hang out while I do the second stage of the bud, which is to roll out again, the paste out again. Cut out my shape. Vein it on my hibiscus veiner. Soften on the unveined side. on the cosmetic sponge, still unveined side up, the cocktail stick, the toothpick, just gently indenting there, like that. And this is going to go on top of my prepared stem, my prepared blossom, alternating. Just a little bit of a pulp there. And that's more just to make them stick together than anything. Prepared cone. I'm going to take my prepared cone, stick the bottom end of the stem in the center. And again, I'm trying to get as centered as possible. I have to say I'm not always great at that. Yeah, that did pretty good there. Centered as possible. I'm going to slide it up the base and if this were dry, I wouldn't have to be so gentle. I could manhandle it a bit, but I'm going to be gentle here. I'm going to paint the bottom of my cone and then the top of my cone with, lightly with gum glue. And I'm going to slide this up until it rests in the cone. And then I'm going to take these top three petals and I like to do them in a bit of a spiral there. Can you see how I have it interlocking into a bit of a spiral? I just find that that covers, that covers the cone nicely and it gives it a pretty look. So in kind of a little spiral look, don't stress if it doesn't spiral beautifully for you. And then I'll put just a little bit of gum glue on the bottom the bottom quarter of here and I'll press these up and it kind of helps if you just turn it upside down and press it up like that so you don't want it to stick right up at the top and then just as we did the flower I'm going to spin and press gently this base of the flower to elongate it thin it and make it look like it's a little bit part of this entire stem yeah. like this and then holding the wire in my hand I'll use my tweezers and I'll bend this at a right angle and hold it and this this one I usually the bud I usually have facing more downward I find it it looks prettier as it face is just a little bit more downward as it grows and it helps it to dry helps it to dry downward too 